Do you suffer from excess weight, chronic stress, and bad night's sleep? If you answered yes to this question, you might have insulin resistance. In my previous video, I described signs and symptoms of insulin resistance. And in this video, I will talk about an easy five-step program that will help you reverse insulin resistance in three months. And if you watch till the end of the video, you will learn about the special therapy that can speed up this process so you can reverse insulin resistance even faster, start losing weight, and prevent risk of chronic diseases. Please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to receive more videos on women's health and weight loss every week. Insulin resistance is a condition that we develop when our cells become less sensitive to insulin. Insulin is a hormone that's supposed to keep our blood sugar levels in check. Insulin resistance is the number one reason why we gain weight and why we have difficulty losing weight. But not only that, it leads to many chronic diseases, dementia, high blood pressure, diabetes, and polycystic ovarian syndrome all start from insulin resistance. Insulin resistance happens when we overconsume carbohydrates, when we eat too much or when we eat too often. There are other factors that influence development of insulin resistance, such as bad night's sleep, chronic stress, infections, exposure to toxins, hypoxia, which is a lack of oxygen in the cells of, and tissues. So I've developed an easy five-step program that will help you reverse insulin resistance. It's absolutely reversible and it's preventable. I will also tell you about a special therapy that can be used to speed up this process so your cells can become sensitive to insulin even faster. So let's get started. Step number one, decrease the total amount of carbohydrates that you eat. Total amount of carbs that you eat a day should not exceed 120 grams. You can count the carbohydrates that you eat using apps keto app or macro counter are pretty good ones and they're free. I will also suggest that you focus on complex carbohydrates, things like vegetables, berries, seeds. Did you know that quinoa and buckwheat, your healthy grains, are not grains and in fact are seeds, eliminate simple carbohydrates from your diet. Simple carbohydrates are foods like flour, sugar, pasta, processed foods. So 120 grams that should come from complex carbohydrates. Step number two, intermittent fasting. This is probably the most important step in the program. Intermittent fasting alone will contribute 60% to insulin sensitivity. I suggest that you follow 16 to 8 rule. 16 hours of fasting followed by 8 hours of eating. Now, if you're a woman and if you're still menstruating, you might notice that in the second half of the cycle, you might experience more hunger and more cravings. It's not the reason to give up intermittent fasting. What you can do instead, drop the fasting window to 14 or 13 hours a day and increase your eating window to 10 or 11 hours a day. This will help you get through this period of increased hunger and continue to intermittently fast. Steps are simple, right? Now we're moving to step number three and it will look at your physical activity. Strength training exercise will increase insulin sensitivity independently of aerobic exercise. What it means is that cardio exercise does not influence insulin sensitivity as much, but strength training does. Incorporate strength training exercises three times a week. We're moving to step number four. We're gonna be talking about sleep. Sleep is super important. Several consecutive nights of bad sleep will result in insulin resistance that is comparable to insulin resistance experienced in diabetes. That's how important is sleep. Go to bed at the same time every day. In the morning, when you get up, get 15 minutes of natural sunlight. Go outside or stand by the window. It will help to reset 
circadian rhythm, internal clock, and it will make it easier for you to fall asleep in the evening. Aim at seven to eight hours of sleep every night. Sleep should be a priority, especially when you would like to reverse and prevent insulin resistance. Step number five, we're almost there. Manage your stress level. Stress is our enemy, or rather how we perceive stress is our enemy. When we're stressed, we secrete the hormone cortisol that acts on insulin, and not only it makes us insulin resistant, it also stimulates weight gain, especially around the abdomen. To manage your stress levels, use simple techniques, journaling, going out, taking walks in nature, spending time doing things that you enjoy with people you love. Good night's sleep helps to manage stress as well. Here are your five steps. You can start doing them today and you will see how your insulin sensitivity will improve day by day. Special therapy that I promised that will help you do it even faster is called hyperbaric oxygen therapy. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy is administered inside a hyperbaric chamber. You can do it in the clinic or you can get a hyperbaric chamber for home use. Time spent inside a hyperbaric chamber will produce an increased oxygen volume inside your body and it will bring down inflammation, improve insulin sensitivity. It will make us secrete a hormone called adiponectin which stimulates weight loss. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy has many health benefits, not just weight loss. If you're interested and if you'd like to know more, you can go to my website or you can watch more videos on my channel about hyperbaric oxygen therapy. So now you doing all five steps and maybe you're even using hyperbaric oxygen therapy that will help you improve your insulin sensitivity even faster. So how would you know that your insulin resistance is decreasing? First, you'll notice weight loss, especially around your abdomen. Second, you will notice that your hunger is down as well as cravings you will notice that you don't crave starchy and sugary foods after your meal. You don't feel as tired after your meal. You becoming more metabolically flexible. You are preventing risk of future chronic diseases and you're moving in the direction of health. Really excited for you to start this five-step program. Please leave comments in the comment section below and share with me if you've suffered from insulin resistance, what have you done, what brought you positive results, and maybe what didn't work so well. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week.